Top five most underrated curse techniques in Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's go. Number five, I got Toto's Boogie Woogie, which is already a very highly rated technique, but I think it deserves more credit. He can swap places with anything that has a certain amount of cursed energy. This allows Toto to control the flow of almost any fight that he's in, but it's not slept on by any means, which is why it's at five. Next up, we got Mai Zenin's construction technique. You can create anything just using cursed energy. For someone like Mai with limited amounts of cursed energy, she's very limited with this. But with someone who's a more efficient manipulator of cursed energy or just had a lot of it, they could create much bigger and better objects. Next up, we have Paralyzing Gaze. Ranta Zenin can immobilize people by looking at them. The stronger the target, the harder they are to restrain. Seems trash because he got wiped in a chapter, but a competent fighter would make this lethal. Next up, we got Sukuna's personal human shell for Rame, who has ice manipulation. You can freely create and control ice with your mind and even drop the temperature around you to extreme colds. You could probably make human popsicles too. Number one, we got Jogo. His techniques have some of the best firepower in the entire series. One of his attacks even took out a large portion of Shibuya. He slept on because he got folded by Gojo and Sukuna just like anybody else would. 